Good morning everyone, good morning children. It's lovely to be able to share a special story again with you today and I think you're going to be able to guess straight away which story it is because I've got a little friend to help us with our story today. And can you tell mummy who you think this is? That's right, it's the very hungry caterpillar. So that's going to be our story and I, he can help us. Can't you tell us the story about the very hungry caterpillar? It's one of my favourites. In the light of the moon, you see the moon there? A little egg lay on the leaf. So up here, there's a tiny little egg. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very, can you see him here, hungry caterpillar. Here he is. He started to look for some food. He was hungry. On Monday, he ate through one apple. I'm going to try and show you the picture just of the one apple. But can you say it with me? He was still hungry. So on Tuesday, he ate through one, two, three pears but he was still hungry on wednesday let's count them one two three he ate through three plums but he was still hungry on thursday let's see if we can count the strawberries together one two three four strawberries but he was still hungry on friday he ate through let's count the oranges one two three four five oranges but he was still hungry and on saturday oh my goodness me he ate through one piece of chocolate cake one ice cream cone one pickle one slice of swiss cheese one slice of salami one lollipop one piece of cherry pie one sausage one cupcake and one slice of watermelon and that night he had a tummy ache. I'm not surprised. The next day was Saturday again and he ate the one nice green leaf. And that made him feel so much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a tiny little caterpillar anymore. Can you see? He is very big. Let me open him up like that. Yes, there he is. He is a big fat caterpillar and he built himself a house called a cocoon. This one looks very, very big. It wouldn't really be this big. It would be just about this big. Built himself a little house called a cocoon and he stayed inside there for two weeks and then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out and... He was a beautiful butterfly. Isn't that a lovely story? So well done for good listening. That's one of my favourite story, uh, stories about the very hungry caterpillar. You might like to have a go at drawing a caterpillar if mummy helps you. Fold a piece of paper in half and then cut round half. Mummy draws you half the shape of a butterfly, you make sure it's on the fold and then when you cut it and open it up you'll have a butterfly that's the same on both sides. So have a go at doing that, that'd be a really nice thing to do. See you soon, bye! There's a tiny caterpillar on a leaf, Wiggle. Wiggle.